from San Jose, in the heart of Silicon Valley, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube covering OCP US Summit 2016. Brought to you by OCP. Now your host, Jeff Frick and Stu Miniman. Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Jeff Frick. We are live in San Jose, California at the Open Compute Project Summit 2016. They used to have names. Uh, four, five, six, now we just go with the year, which is a lot easier, it was off by year. It's our third year being here, and this is really where the cloud is. As you see on bumper stickers and stuff, the cloud is somebody else's computer. Well, these are the big computers, big iron, big servers that are running and actually create the cloud in which all the applications and the infrastructure and the mobile and the social and the data, the big data all run on. So without things like OCP and the infrastructure, there is no cloud. So we're really excited to be here for our third year in a row. Um, my guest host for the next couple of days is Stu Miniman. Stu, welcome. Hey Jeff, thanks, I'm so excited to be here. I've watched this OCP initiative since it kicked off, but it's the first time I actually got to fly across the country for this event. Um, as you said, you know, the cloud, you know, it's got hardware in it, and you know, there's so many of the cloud shows we go that you know, people kind of look down and they say, oh, there's those server huggers there. Well, we're talking about distributed systems, disaggregation of you know, hardware and software, and, and really what's happening uh, in hyperscale environments. So, you know, proud to be a server hugger. Uh, we've got the Facebook booth right behind us here, and boy, there was a crowd this morning of people looking at these little uh, cubbies, they call them, that they put these things in, some you know, really creative an interesting thing uh, to drive you know, efficiencies higher, really help the economics. Uh, and you know, Facebook said that they've saved several billions of dollars uh, in efficiencies and costs in the five years that they're doing it. So really exciting stuff, lots of networking, lots of compute, uh, storage, uh, you know, infrastructure, uh, you know, the, the, where hardware lives and the relevance of it, you know, this is the epicenter of that. Yeah, if you like to geek out and you like to grab things while you geek out, this is really the place to be as you walk around all the major players are here, and we'd like to have a special shout out to our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we couldn't come to these events and really bring you the signal uh, from the noise. So big thanks to uh, Topeka 8, to Micron, and to Mellanox for, uh, for sponsoring theCUBE to be here at OCP for our third consecutive year. So thank you very much. So Stu, um, a lot of hardware, a lot of the iron. You sat through the keynotes, you're dressed in your, uh, in your open source garb, good to see, a little Silicon Valley thing going on. What'd you think of the keynotes? What yeah, are yeah. some of your key First takeaways? First of all, you know, definitely wanted to, you know, uh, to say thank you to the Open Compute Foundation uh, for helping bring us here, you know, that, that, that's a big piece of it. Um, lots of keynotes, lots of announcements. Uh, you know, Microsoft, really big presence here. You know, of course, Azure's you know, front and center. Uh, one of the biggest news pieces that I saw that was kind of new is that Google has now joined Open Compute. Uh, so I was talking to some people here on the show floor, they're like, wow, you've got Facebook, you've got Microsoft, now you've got Google. You know, you know hey, I wonder what Amazon's doing when, when, when they think about this. So, uh, you know, Intel said, uh, you know, that uh, I think it was like, what is it, 70, 80% uh, of all systems, you know, in the future, like 10 years out from now, will be uh, deployed in, uh, you know, so, some kind of, uh, uh, that are de deployed are going to be in large data centers, and OCP is a major part of that. So, Stu, how does, we know how open source software works, how does open source hardware work? And what's kind of, you know, we do OpenStack, we've done OpenStack for years, we were talking about a little bit before we went out of there, it's all about the software, but how does open source hardware actually work and execute? Yeah, that, that, that's a great question, Jeff. So let's, let's rewind and say, you know, why OCP and why are we here? Uh, so Facebook, you know, was growing it to such massive scales, you know, they've now got over a billion users, uh, you know, on a monthly basis, and, you know, they, they were, you know, Growing, you know, back in the, the the days when this started, you know, it was photos were the killer app. Now they're doing, you know, videos. I, I think Facebook said they're doing, you know, what was it? You know, it's, uh, you know, I mean, definitely, you know, hundreds of millions of hours of video. They can have over a million concurrent users, you know, watching a live video at a time, and you know that puts a real strain on infrastructure. So what Facebook said is. You know, we've got all of these special things that we're doing to help the efficiency and help what we're doing. If we look forward, we can't maintain this. Our core business isn't in building, you know, scalable infrastructure. So what do they do? They say, well, there's other companies that want to leverage what we're doing and participate. So let's open the kimono and say, here's what we're doing, here's the designs we have, and wouldn't it be great if other people started contributing and, and started leveraging it? So first, look at basic economies of scale, Jeff. If, you know, you know Facebook 
can double the amount of people that are using the kind of Facebook design, their suppliers uh, from the economy of scale will be able to give it to Facebook cheaper. So that, that's really straightforward, but as, as new companies come forth with new innovations, Microsoft uh, introduced a chassis design, Google uh, came forth with some uh, interesting uh, DC power enhancements that they were doing in their environments, and uh, there's literally hundreds of companies now uh, involved in this effort, uh, and you know, a nice expo hall here of all these companies uh, that make components and make systems, putting them together. Uh, so, uh, you know, to give you one other example of, of news that came out this week, uh, Facebook talked about uh, the, the network switches that they're doing, it's called Wedge, and Equinix has said that they're going to use Wedge. So, Equinix, of course, um, you know, one of those companies that has, you know, over 100 data centers around the world, very large environments, and they direct connect to the Azures and Amazons of the world. So if they start using the switch uh, as, as a standard, that's going to really drive broad adoption through the cloud ecosystem, allow cloud internet connection and what's going there. So open source allows other people to leverage it, help the economy to scale, more people contribute to it, um, and it's really that virtuous cycle. Um, and you know, it's open source, so it's a little bit different that it's not just a code base, but there's the designs and we build off of it and make future generations, so, so that's where they're taking it. Yeah, there's so, so many places to go. I'm looking forward to two days of coverage with you, Stu. Uh, we've got our first guest keyed up, ready to go, and, and as you said, Intel, platinum sponsor along with Facebook. So, you know, down to the component level, uh, all about data centers. If you read any of these stock reports, a lot of the infrastructure companies are getting huge growth in their data center and business. It's really continues to grow. It's really powering the internet, powering the cloud, and, uh, and we're here. We're right at the center of the epicenter of it. So we will be back with our first guest after this short break. This is Stu Miniman. I'm Jeff Frick. We are live in San Jose, California, the San Jose Convention Center at Open Compute Project Summit 2016. Be right back with our next guest. Thank you.